Guten Hag and welcome to episode 36 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is on improving and the tools used to do it. Um, but before we get to that, there's always a but. I want to show you something else I experimented with just so we can uh, dismiss all of these uncertainties. So this involves my little friend again and something else that I want to show you. Let's take a look. Right now, we know you know how I mentioned in the past about oh, if you if you um, tame dogs and you're breeding them and taming them to keep them off of deed, I retract that statement. You do not need to keep your dogs off of the deed, even if you have got 50 spirit templars all around you. Let's show you why. So let's activate some grass. Let's tame. Now this might take several attempts before I can actually show you what I want to. This is typical, usually it always fails, but of course because I want to show you this, it's going to always ignore or succeed. But I've got 50 grass, I mean surely I've got to fail once with that. We keep going. Oh, goodness sake. It's typical, when I was testing last night on my second or third attempt, it uh, did exactly what I wanted it to do. But on this, it's looking like he's going to end up being my best friend in the world. Oh, I just cannot believe it. Any other time it would fail miserably and I would get the desired effect or result. But because I want to show you this, it just wants to keep creating either a stronger bond or ignoring me and not doing... Oh, here, yeah, here we go. Right. He is now aggressive. <coughs> Oops, I'm going to end up killing him. Silly me. Right, let's quickly remove my weapon, because we don't want to kill the dog. But look, as you can clearly see, he's attacking me. Okay, he's aggressive, he's red. <clears throat> so there we go. Moral of the story is that your spirit templars will not get involved. So let's make sense of this, what I've just shown you. Okay, let's quickly remove the target. Okay, now it's down to behaviours with the spirit templars because the normal behavior of a dog and a pig and a cow and a bull and a chicken and a rooster and all such animals like that their nature their general nature is to be friendly green or or just whatever color that is non-aggressive that's their normal nature so the guards will not attack them if you fail taming them if they turn hostile the guards will ignore them and if you've got tower guards of course they don't get involved unless you call them but on non-aggressive creatures they wouldn't help you so what creatures is it not safe for with your spirit templars well for just about any other hostile creature that its nature is that it's aggressive to you to start with then the uh, spirit templars will attack them so if you're taming and keeping a menagerie of hostile creatures you keep them off deed or do you no you don't actually let's show you what you do if you want to have a menagerie of wild creatures which are aggressive but you keep in pens on your deed and you don't want the guards to attack them so we'll take a little walk over here i know you're thinking Oh, this lunatic's really lost the plot. Not yet. Give me 10 more minutes and I'll get there. Right, so come to your token. Right click, go to settlement, go to manage settings, and voila. Aggressive creatures. Mark this if you want guards to ignore aggressive creatures. So, if you have aggressive creatures that you're taming, turn this, put a cross in there, and then do the send. They will not then attack your creatures that you're taming. But bear in mind, of course, that's only for someone who's walled off all their, their deed and there's no danger of a troll just meandering onto 
onto you while you're taming. So if your 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 deed is secure or your location is secure, then put a tick in there, cross in there, and tame away to your heart's content. Okay, so that's how you can stop the guards from attacking. But remember, with dogs, pigs, cows, horses, sheep, all of them creatures, the Templars won't attack them if they turn hostile when you're taming them. So don't worry. And there we go. That's just what I wanted to uh, show you. So now then, as this episode is supposed to be about improving, I guess it's best that I put this grass away and then actually start to show you that, isn't it? Or isn't it? So let's just quickly put this away. Because you're going to see we're getting a real mess in a moment with windows and items. Improving. Everything around you at some point needs improving. Whether it's your car, your horse... Uh, not your horse, we can't... Well, I'll try later. Let's see how we can get on. Maybe they did an update where we can improve our horses. Anyway, so your cart, your boats, your bins, your tools, especially your tools. That is why I decided we really need to do an improving episode. Because look at some of the tools. Look, for goodness sake, my shovel's on one. That could break at any time, you know, when I get it high. And these are all starter tools. The next episode will be on us replacing our starter tools. But before we get there, we need I need to show you how we can keep all of our items. I would recommend, really, at uh, the early stage we're at in the game, keeping your items at quality level about 20. If you can get higher, that's good. But 20 minimum quality level, really, is what you want to get to. Now, for... You're going to start to need to get organised. You're going to start to need to get organised for your materials and your tools and all sorts of items. So let's show you what I'm talking about. For starters, we're going to be covering the improving of tools to do with carpentry and smithing. There's a whole different range of tools for for um, tailoring, for leather working. We're not going there yet. We need to do the tools that we use every day and be able to repair the items that we've got every day. Everything from our forge, to our oven, to our anvils, to our wagon, like I say, or our carts, to our barrels, to our rafts. Everything needs improving. As you can see, look, my mallet there, which is a tool for the carpentry improving. So we've got that. Right, okay, but we need to organize. So let's show you the different quality levels and how you'll go about organizing organizing them in the um, my cart you'll see I'm using three rafts as our level improves with improving no pun intended there but as we get better in at improving you want to separate all of your different quality levels see I've put the 10 to 19s in this raft the 20s in that raft and the 30s in there that's as high as I'm at in the 30s with my wood but I will be improving that if we open up the forge you will see that I've got cauldrons in here to separate my different qualities which again you must do you'll see that I like to normally keep my 30s at the top the highest quality level at the top the lowest quality level at the bottom uh, so 30 at the top then we'll have 20 because that's my next and for the, this one what I want to do with that when you separate separate into two stacks like I showed you previously look that stacks 30 weight this stacks gonna be 30 weight why two stacks well when you're working with one lump of iron for example it's going to cool down at the moment it's glowing from heat because it's been in the forge as soon as it starts to cool down it will go to searing you can't then use it for smithing so you need to have two stacks for each of your quality levels now because I've only got um, 1125 quality level I'm only going to do one stack because it would be too small otherwise but in a perfect world it would be two stacks of 30 quality level 25 and the same for the 30s I haven't got many so I'll just group them all together Okay, but good habits would be to have two stacks of each quality level. And if you go above 30, of course, you won't be able to fit them all in the same cauldron. So if I had two stacks of quality level 35 uh, weight 30, quality level 30 iron lumps, I could fit them both in the same cauldron. You can fit up to 63 weight lump in a cauldron. 
Wow, this could get so messy with what I'm saying. I'm trying to keep it together here, so bear with me. Right, okay, so look at all these items we got to improve. I would say your priority is, of course, the first thing is to do your, in, your tools that you need for improving. Now, we have tools already for improving that we've got or made so far in this uh, series. We know we have our logs already. Let's give you a list then, shall we? Let's start logically. Here's a list of all the items involved with carpentry and smithing, all the tools and items for improving. You need a hammer, a mallet, a file, a pelt, water, an iron lump, a log, a carving knife and a whetstone. Now the ones in that list that we don't have we're going to make. So we're going to make a file, a whetstone, a hammer and a carving knife because we really need to move off of our starter items. So we will start with um, making a file. So let's get our forge open. Now as you see when you're making an item always use your lowest quality, quality level whether it be lump of iron or wood always go for the lowest quality level when you're first making an item why because you want to make it as low quality as possible so you can then improve it and get your skills up improving it so right let's bring up the crafting window and let's get the recipes so we want to do a file to start with a file is used in carpentry for improving like I say, we're making both the tools for carpentry and for smithing. So here we go, here's our file. We'll need to do a file head blade to start with. So that's a small anvil. Oh, let's let you see this. That's a small anvil and an iron lump. So what we'll do, we'll grab the lump and we'll grab the cauldron. And we will now add that to the crafting window. Okay, then we need to choose the file blade, which is there, and let's create. And try again. I'd like to keep the skills window open, but there's just going to be too many windows. You're going to see it's just going to get so messy. So now what we need to do, we need to, we need a handle, so let's Notice with my storage bins, what I need to do for these cauldrons in here, by the way, is perhaps label them. But because I haven't got enough yet, I don't want to do it in the, the forge. But what I've done with my bins, my BSBs, you'll see that I've started to label them. And although I look organised with all my bins, it's a complete mess all around me of all of the different containers if you like and like I've got the cart shunted well too close to me so that's blocking it's like it's got its big rear end blocking off of the stuff that I want to use so maybe I should try moving that forwards a bit but it just gets so messy okay let's see I didn't lose any windows so I was lucky there let's jump out let's go back can I now see yeah I can see that I can see my barrel Right, okay, so you can see what I've done with my bulk storage bins is I've started to label them like we discussed earlier. So I've got my 20s there, 30s there, 40s there. That means that I can minimise them down to the sm to as small as possible, knowing that I can still see the tag at the top, the, l the label for the quality. What you're doing there is you're saving space because the window's just getting so messy now. Okay, let's quickly check the forge, make sure I'm not going... No, it's not dying down no that's still burning good right okay so we've got our blade we need a handle let's find the handles oh goodness me what I do with the handles are oh, the handles are in this one okay so we'll grab a handle okay where did I oh here they are of course I'm looking for handle and it's wooden handles Let's grab, I don't know how many I'll need, I'll grab five, shouldn't need more than that. Right, for this though we only need one. So we'll put that in our pocket, we'll then go back to the crafting window and for the file let's add that. There we are, check that it is a file and it is, we'll whack that to four and click create. Let's see now. So like I say the file is used in carpentry for improving, there we go, we have a file. 
we're not happy with that so we're going to improve that next so although it's an item for carpentry we're going to need to use the smithing improving tools to improve it do you see how intertwined it all is they like everything in this game skill wise all intertwines what we'll do we'll put that in the forge and we'll improve it for now though let's move on to the next tool the next tool is a very simple tool to make um, my um, mining I've got up to 50 54 I think or something like that so that's the max quality level of the next tool that we can make what tool are we gonna make we're gonna make a grindstone a whetstone sorry so let's find I can't remember what I did with my quality level 48 whetstones but let's face it 44 will be high enough oh no here is my 49 so we're gonna grab one rock shard because that's what you need to make a whetstone and we're going to need to use the stone chisel so let's now find it in the recipe window so we want to make a whetstone there we go and we'll need the stone chisel and the rock shard so we'll add that to the crafting window ah now have I put oh yeah so I put it in the forge already we need to improve that though, look at the quality level of that, that's laughable, quality level 1, trust me. So we need to improve that, let's put that there, let's now just re-add the whetstone. Okay, so notice that when we create our whetstone, it's not going to use the whole, the whole um, rock shard, it will use just a percentage of it. What that should tell you is we can have many attempts to make the most perfect one. We're trying to get to at least 49.88, but you will see that we'll probably make 20, 10, let's see how we get on. See 22, we want to try for a 40 if we can. See what the highest is that we can get. You see, because that's so low quality level, look how quickly the damage is going up. Oh, there we go, that is exactly what we want, perfect. For this one, well, I'll just simply drop it on the ground. Rainstorm's not over here, so I'm not going to upset her by making a complete and utter mess. That's what I like to do. So right, though, we have one of our main tools, improving tools for smithing. That is fantastic. Nearly 50. Perfect. Be a long time before I get to that high, but for now, we'll just put that in there. I won't put it in my tools bowl. I'll just leave it there because we're going to be using it. That's another window really that I need to keep open, but I'm running out of space. As you can see, it's getting very messy. Let's just try and move it. I know that probably all of you don't make such a mess with your windows, but this is me. I make a mess. Okay, right, okay, so that's our whetstone. We got a file. Let's see, what's next? Uh, well, let's put this back in the forge. When you're improving these tools, they have to be glowing. So that's why I'm keeping the file and the stone chisel in there and these others. Okay, next we're going to make a hammer. A hammer is another valuable improving tool for smithing. So let's go in here. Let's type in hammer. And so we're going to need a hammerhead, which is an iron lump and an anvil. So what we'll do, we'll put our rock shard back because we don't need that. Well, we will in a moment. So I'll keep that in there but um, we need a lump of iron again so what we'll do let's find one of our low quality lumps oh I've still got them in my pocket good and a small anvil great so we'll add that okay we need to now select um, a hammerhead where's the hammerhead and I'm not talking about sharks we've had enough on that subject right here we are hammerhead so there we go, let's now try and create one. Great, we have our hammerhead. Now we can try and create, what do we need? We need a shaft. Right, okay, well, I am sort of prepared because I've got some shafts in there. So let's get a shaft. Okay, so we got our shaft. Remember, the wood doesn't matter because it's an iron item. So what we'll do, we'll now add the hammer to the crafting window. There we go, let's now create ourselves a hammer. Fantastic. Okay, we now have a hammer. Again, low quality. 
Now it's funny with the hammer, you might want to make two hammers. Why? Because the hammer is a smithing item. So to improve it, we're going to need another hammer once it gets to that. But for now we can use iron. Oh, it'll make sense when I get to it. Let's just pull it in the forge. There we go. Right. Next we need to make the last one is a carving knife. Yes, I have a carving knife in my bag. You'll see in my tools I have a carving knife. But notice with this carving knife there, see there's no icon to improve it. That's because it's a starting tool. So we really don't want that. We want a nice one that we can improve. So let's now go to carving knife. Okay, carving knife. Uh, that's what we want, iron. So we need a small anvil and an iron lump. Great, we've got them already, so let's add the iron. And this will do the blade first of all. So it's a carving knife blade that we're looking for. There we are. And let's create one. See, none of this takes long, but it will be fantastic because we'll be able to improve all of our wooden and metal items once we've done this. And of course, we'll be starting with the tools themselves that we need to improve. So, okay, now we need the carving knife next. There it is. So what do we need for that? We need a handle, which we've got up there, and the blade. So let's add them. Okay, and there's our carving knife. Let's whack that to four and create. Okay, remember this is bladesmithing. Bladesmithing is, uh, or weapon smithing, I should say, is a difficult one. But there we go, we've got our carving knife. Um, we are going to try and improve that. So we'll put that in the forge. So you can see all of these tools here, we've got to improve these four because we want to use them for improving. So the improving tools is the tools you need to start with by improving. Okay, I don't want to get confusing. I can't help it sometimes. Right, okay, so the first one let's do, because it's the simplest, is the um, stone chisel. We really need to get that. We need to get everything away from quality level one because it just takes too much damage. You're going to spend all your time repairing. So what we do, we'll activate our iron lump right click and improve now down here it tells us if we fail so what we'll just keep doing notice that it always starts with the raw material in the beginning stages when you improve so if it's a wooden item like the mallet while it's low quality it will always be on the log until you start to get it up above five or six or seven then it will change same with iron items when they're really really low it will always just be iron that you're using but once you get near to ten then it'll change to start being some of the tools. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let's carry on. Let's carry proving. Okay, see, now we need the hammer. Now, with with um, iron lumps and with logs, they have to be the same or higher quality level to use them to improve an item. With tools, they do not need to be. But obviously, you will fail more if they are not higher. What is the optimum number for a tool to be higher than the actual item you're improving? Well, if you check the Wormpedia, if I remember correctly from a few years back, it was about 10 quality levels. So the ideal quality level for my hammer to be to improve this would be, yes, you guessed it, 19.46. Mine is on 650, so it doesn't matter though, like I said, tools can be lower. So let's now use the hammer. There we go. Great, so we got that up. Now we need to use our whetstone. What I will do is I will drop the whetstone on the tool belt. We're so going to get to making a bigger tool belt, just not yet, there's too many other things to do. Okay, so our stone chisel now needs the... Um, Whetstone, so let's right click and sharpen. See they all have different names depending on what you're doing. Right, now we need some water to temper. So we'll grab the cauldron. We will activate, the, oh I must put that in the food storage bin, I forgot all about that meat. Anyway, we must activate the water, right click, this time we temper. 
There we go. Back to the um, whetstone. And now the pelt. Pelts are another item that you can go higher, but not by a great deal. I think you can get away with about 10 higher. I don't know. I haven't tried it. We'll see at some point. And we polish with the pelt. Back to the water. And temper. That's as high as I'm going to go. Because I said to you, let's just get them to 20. If I try and go up to 90 on all, all of these, I'll be here for the next six days showing you. I need this to try and fit in 30 minutes. So what we'll do, I've got my stone chisel. I'm very happy with that now. Let's bung it in my bag. In my backpack. There we go. There's my stone chisel. We're going to be needing that when I improve the forge. Let's quickly though move on. Right, okay, next one to improve is, let's do the hammer, shall we? Because the hammer is going to be so needed. Okay, so the hammer, again, is just iron. So let's improve that. Oh, I need to repair it. You always have to repair the items before you can improve them. So if you put a load of items in your forge to be improved, make sure that they all say zeros where the damage is. Otherwise, you won't, you'll get a message telling you you can't improve it. So there we go. It's now repaired. Let's now improve. There we go. Okay, now we need the hammer to improve the hammer. Now, can we use the mallet? I can't remember. I don't think we can, but let's try no, we can't. So to improve this um, hammer, we'll need another hammer. And um, shall I make another hammer now? No, because the clock is ticking. You understand. We need another hammer to improve this hammer. I'll leave that there. Off camera, I'll make another hammer and do that. But you now know that you need to make two hammers, really. Okay, I've shown you how to make the hammer. So just make another hammer. And then what you'll do, you'll use both of them to improve each each other and that's how you'll progress okay let's now do the um, let's do the file let's see what we can get that to right now the file is on 1191 the lump is 1191 so we can still use the lump but only once more let's improve okay we can't use this lump anymore on this because it's now gone too high but this thankfully is now water so let's use the water let's temper 15 there we go now so what we do we will throw the lump back in the forge so it stays hot and we'll now grab our 25 lump there we go activate that lump and now we'll improve and again and again see sometimes you can get lucky and it'll use the same item multiple times other times it <clears throat> excuse me other times it will keep switching but it doesn't matter it's all fun you, you sort of when you start improving and mining you get in the zone you really do you zone out to everything else that's going on around you even food even drinking and eating in the real life you'll forget totally about that and then one day you'll be so weak that uh, you basically just end up collapsing right well there we go we hit 20 that's good enough for that let's put our 20 lump back because we don't want it cooling down and we'll move on now to the sickle because that's looking pretty sick at one quality level okay so let's get our iron lump I'm not going to go for the one I was using before I'm going to go for the other because the, that will give that one a chance to get hot again so let's activate that you see how it works you switch and you switch keep switching around your lumps and but it only applies to smithing because wood doesn't doesn't get cold does it and don't put it in your forge just it'll burn okay so let's repair Notice the difference straight away I failed because this is weapon smithing so improving it will be more difficult. For improvements, something that I need to explain actually, <clears throat> when you are improving items like the hammer, the file, the trowel and the lantern, these are all classed as blacksmithing items. So when you're improving blacksmithing items, your blacksmithing skill gets used. The level of your blacksmithing skill, with coupled with your the quality level of your tool or the resource, denotes what the highest you will be able to imp an item to. Okay, for items like the sickle, the carving knife, and the butchering knife. Um, possibly the trowel, they use the um, weapon smithing skill. 
okay the blade smithing went up when I was making the blades but the weapon smithing skill so you see that is a, the one of the slowest game skills in the game to skill up so that's going to take some work for some of you to do so there we are I wanted to just mention that remember that whatever you're improving is limited oh we can't surely not right okay so I will do another short episode on imp I will continue this episode but it won't be a long one I just want to show you doing the uh, the forge and the cart okay so wherever you are in the world have a uh, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe and have a fantastic day see you in a moment bye bye